Microcontrollers, they are everywhere. From your smartphone to your car, microcontrollers run modern electronics. They are performing tasks we told them to perform. And how do you tell what task a microcontroller should perform? You use a programmer device. Okay, a bunch of embedded systems on my desk. Let's take a closer look. This is a programmer device. This is a programmer device as well. And you guessed it, programmer device. CodeRip is a programmer debugger device. You program or you debug a microcontroller device with the CodeRip device. What number of microcontrollers are we talking about? Well, with CodeRip, you have access to over 2,500 microcontrollers. Those microcontrollers are from five distinct vendors. NXP, STTI, Microchip, and Giggly device. Okay, now that we have established what CodeRip is, let's briefly talk about the actual CodeRip hardware behind it. As you could have witnessed, there are multiple instances of a CodeRip device. If I focus on this board from Micri, the EasyPick version 8 dev board, I can observe code grip device is over here in the upper left corner, which means programmer and debugger device is integrated on the actual dev board. So I'm able to conclude code grip could be an onboard device and programming a microcontroller would be straightforward. On the opposite side, code grip could be a standalone device as well. I would have to physically connect this standalone version with the dev board if I were to program anything out to a microcontroller. So, to sum up, onboard code grip and standalone code grip. Okay, let's power them up. If I power up one of them, it doesn't really matter which one. I will be presented with some LED indicators. And by the way, having LED indicators is always welcome and it's always super nice to see them. Power indicates the presence of the power supply. USB link indicates that the connection has been established via USB. The next one is the net link and you are going to like it because this indicator is telling me the connection between my laptop and this code review device has been established via Wi-Fi. See, this board is powered up only with the lithium polymer battery right now. My laptop is not directly connected with some USB cable to it and I'm able to debug this microcontroller wirelessly. Well, I think that's impressive. Now, imagine physically putting standalone code grip device into your embedded product. You would be able to perform remote programming and debugging. Once again, remote program and debug of your embedded system without the cable and using only Wi-Fi. That, my folks, is the code grip. Okay, on to the next LED indicator of the code grip device, active. Well, we have two possible states. Steady on LED state indicates the normal operation of the code grip device. Blinking LED indicates that the code grip device is in the bootloader mode. And you would use that mode when you want to upgrade the current version of a firmware, which is inside a code grip device. Okay, and the last LED indicator is the data indicator. Data indicates the data transfer between the target MCU and the code grip device. Now that we have established how code grip device looks like, let's focus on the interface between human being, you for example, and a code grip as a programming debugging solution. Code grip suite is the interface or software app being used by an engineer to control code grip device. This is how suite looks like and installing it on your computer is straightforward. Actually, there are two ways of having code grip installed on your personal computer. Going automatic by installing Nectar Studio IDE in the first place, which will subsequently download and install code grip suite inside of you. In essence, you install Nectar, which is a development environment, and you automatically get code grip suite to be able to flash the code from Nectar into a microcontroller's memory. That is the first option. The second option is going manual. By visiting mikuri.com slash unicodegrip, where you can find download section and you will be able to choose between Windows, Mac OS or Linux executable files. Of course, there is a user manual for the codegrip device. You will get a PDF document with 46 pages in total, from which you will pick up the info on how to get started with codegrip suite. I think the first option, going automatic, is a way to go because you will basically install an IDE which installs CodeGrip Suite which flashes your embedded project into a microcontroller. And that, my folks, is the final goal of an embedded engineer, seeing the code in action. 
By the way, this is my next subject, seeing the code in action. Programming in microcontroller with the code grip device. No brainer. Just follow the steps. Make sure code grip device, development board, and microcontroller are in front of you. Make sure code grip device is connected with the development board in a proper way. Power up the development board. Make sure code grip suite is installed. Click on code grip. Then click on scanning. Then click on scan devices. Search for the USB logo. Then click on it. This way you establish the connection between your computer and code grip device. By clicking on the microcontroller icon, then selecting options submenu, you are able to filter out the specific microcontroller you are currently working with. Then go to programming submenu and try detecting the microcontroller and you will be presented with the target is detected message. This way you established a connection between code grip device and microcontroller. Finally, you write your code into microcontroller with the help of a hex file, which at its core are machine code instructions for a particular microcontroller represented as a binary data in hexadecimal format. Hex file. Hex file in the previous step. What do you think how I got it? I was using Nectar Studio IDE to extract the hex file. This is Nectar Studio IDE and this is some simple C code. I will build this simple C code and I will get the hex file. And where is that hex file located? Well, right click on the project, then select open build folder and you will get hex file. Finally, I am able to make use of this hex file and import it into code grip suite and finally program the MCU. Is there an easier way of programming a microcontroller? Yes, definitely yes. Jump back into Nectar Studio IDE and select flash button. That's it. That is basically it. This action, flash action, will trigger the code grip device and that action will program the code into microcontroller. Watch the previous episodes to find out more about code grip and Nectar combo. Why does the embedded industry need code grip in the first place? Well, my answer to that is adaptability. Codrip is constantly evolving and is adapting to the needs of embedded professionals. Just imagine this. Connect the code grip to your wireless network. Now, make a physical connection between this exact code grip and your embedded project. What you will get is remote hardware. Basically, hardware as a service, just like Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Asia, but more embedded centric. And guess what? We have already done this. We have adapted our code grip for an engineer to be able to remotely connect to embedded project with the help of Nectar Studio IDE. By the way, this product is called Planet Debug. If you are intrigued to learn more. Okay, that was code grip, and that was just the tiny part of what code grip can perform when in combination with hardware and software solutions from my company, Micri. Give code grip a try. And now I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching.